Celebrity Ascent. We are here for a special two night sailing. So if you want to see some of our daily videos or even see tours of a lot of the different room categories on board, in fact, most of the room categories on board, including all the suites, be sure to check out all the videos in our Celebrity Ascent playlist. But for today's video, I want to take you around and give you a full and complete tour of all of the public areas on this ship. So we're going to start down at the bottom, deck number two, no deck number one, deck number two, and then we're going to work our way up, showing you all those public areas that you can enjoy if you come on board the Celebrity Ascent. So let's go ahead and get it started. Our tour of the Celebrity Ascent begins right now. All right, starting on deck number two, we are in the aft section, as you can see. And I will say the maps that we're going to be showing here are not as detailed as some other ships, but it will still give an idea. So two sets of elevators and stairs for the ship. So if I say midship or aft, that's what I'm talking about. Forward will be up here. So we are aft right now, and we're going to turn and head towards midship, and we'll find our first destination, Destination Gateway. So Destination Gateway is kind of a mixed-use space. Sometimes they'll launch tender boats from here. The Magic Carpet might be down here for that as well. Or they might have different events, karaoke, uh, you know, speaking conferences, things like that down here as well. And actually, just outside Destination Gateway, you see right here, this door is labeled The Basement, which I actually haven't seen any events or anything like that listed during our sailings. So I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's just like a small little multi-use space that they might have here for whatever reason they need it. But that's pretty much that's all they see here on this part of Deck 2. Now we need to go forward. All right, I've now arrived at Deck 2 forward, and I want to point out how I got here because as you see, it kind of ends right there from Destination Gateway. So I had to go up, and not even actually to three. You can't transverse three either. I had to go up to four all the way across and then come back down here at the forward elevators and stairs. One thing to show here, we turn and we see the green and white cross. We know that means the medical center. So here's the medical center and the hours of operation are posted right there. So if you need the medical center, you just head inside that door and that's gonna do it for deck number two. Oh, but before I move on, I'll note that I just saw it here as well. Access via aft elevator only to destination gateway in the basement. So it's telling you, you cannot walk between them. You have to go there to get to that. On to three. All right, deck three forward, elevators and stairs now. And we're going to turn because it's just going to be one thing that we're going to see here, which is camp at sea. And this is the kids area on board for ages three to 12. It's kind of like the kids club and we can see it. They don't have the doors open right now, but it's a pretty standard play area. They have board games and toys and little play spots, all that good stuff. This is where you'll check them in and pick them up and where they'll have lots of fun. And now looking at our map, I guess technically there is a way to transverse here on three, but as it says below here, best access via aft elevator to those restaurants and other things. So it doesn't say you only can do it like on two, but it does say the best access is to do that. I think that's what I'm actually gonna do is just go on up to four, come back down, and then we'll pick three up in the middle there. All right, back on deck three here, midship at the Grand Plaza. This is kind of like the main central area of the ship and it's probably best viewed from above. So I'm gonna go up to five and get a bird's eye. And we'll go over everything. And as we go through our tour here, you might see all these little signs they have set up because we're here for a special event. They have all these venue markers letting you know what these areas are used for. And as you can see, Grand Plaza spans decks three, four, and five. And there you can see all three of those decks. You have the illuminated chandelier there in the middle. It does all kinds of lighting effects and fun things. Then we go down to our centrally located bar there. Of course, the bartenders will do all their famous tricks and things like that while they're serving drinks. You're going to have tables and chairs and booths aligning the perimeter. And then it's tiered. It goes up kind of halfway, then up to four, and come on up to five. And it's open air so you can hear if there's live music because they do have a stage area directly down there. You can see the piano is covered up right now on deck three. So whether you're up on five here, you're down there on four, you're in the pit on three, you're taking in the, the vibes and the music, having a good time all together here in the Grand Plaza. All right, so back on deck three here, we're exiting the Grand Plaza and we are heading aft direction. And we'll land in this area, which is gonna be a combination of guest relations, which is basically your front desk, guest services. If you need anything, they'll take care of you over there. And you'll also find the concierge lounge here. So if you're staying in a concierge level room, they have these desks here to assist you with that. And there's several little seating areas as well that leads into the aft elevators and stairs. And since we're here, we might as well stop in in our map and kind of get reoriented. So we saw camp at sea at the beginning, we transversed, 
saw the Grand Plaza area with the martini bar in the middle. Now we've just passed guest relations in the concierge lounge. So we're gonna come back and around here, see two of these restaurants. And those maps that I've been showing you are located between the, some of the elevator doors. But if you actually come to the end of the elevator bay by the stairs, you'll find these signs as well that'll point you in the right direction. So you see that we wanna head starboard side to access those restaurants. If we go port side, it's just gonna be staterooms. All right, and we find our landing area here in the back with the dripping crystal chandelier art piece coming down and the stairwell that wraps up. So you could take these stairs as well between three and four. Now, the first thing we'll find here is Tuscan Restaurant. This is one of the four main dining rooms, so included with your cruise fare. And this is an Italian inspired cuisine. So just have a quick look inside. See, they got the windows over there. Kind of a black and white and gold motif going on. And directly across from that, you will see Normandy Restaurant. This is also a main dining, one of the four main dining rooms. It's included with your cruise fare. This one's serving French cuisine. It's supposed to evoke summertime in Paris. Also has the windows. With those restaurants in the back covered, we have finished deck three, we're going to four. All right, up on deck number four here at the aft elevators and stairs, and this is a busy deck. There's a lot of things piled in. It is free flowing, so we will be able to transverse the whole thing. Let's turn and get the restaurants in the back first. And the same thing is on the deck below. We need to go to the starboard side to get to those. And we find a similar setup in the back of this deck as we saw down below. There's that glittering hanging chandelier in the staircase again. So we turn to our left and we find the entrance to Cypress Restaurant. This is number three of our four main dining rooms that are included. And this one is giving kind of the Greek flair to things. Mediterranean cuisine. Nice uh, little mosaic there. Got the windows in this one as well. And directly across from that, we will find our fourth and final main dining room, which is Cosmopolitan, as you can see from our sign here. Again, this is one of the four main um, complimentary main dining rooms. So there's breakfast, lunch, and dinner in this one. And this is going to have global influences, new American with global influences inside the Cosmopolitan. And you can see this one, of course, has the windows as well. Now, here's where we start to get a little loopy, I like to say, in terms of we're not going crazy, but that we can actually make loops here. So we can go this way, or we can go that way. We're gonna have to do both to see everything. So for now, let's start here. Let's just turn again. We're coming right outside. Let me turn around here. Right outside the Cosmopolitan restaurant there, here on the port side, and we'll enter the casino area. Might as well go ahead and cover this. It is closed right now, so it's easier for me to film. And this is gonna be your standard casino. Slot machines, table games, bar, all of those things are going to be included here in this casino. And it's a decent size. I like the largest I've ever seen, and it's certainly not the smallest either. But all your basic games, anything you could be looking for, they do have TVs in here as well. Everything's located in the casino. And a look from the other side. You can see straight down the hall, that's the restaurant that we just came from. And you do have these little offshoots as well. Okay, back at the deck four, aft elevators and stairs, you can see the casinos that way. The casinos also that way to port side. Behind us, aft would be those restaurants that we first started with. So now we're gonna come to the starboard side and head forward. And as we do that, this will begin our line of shopping and merchandise on board, starting with Sense of Self which as we can see, looks like they're serving up some attire, clothes, bags, jewelries, things like that. And then that flows right into our jewelry section featuring Effie. They have all kinds of jewelry on display here and quite a large staff. I've seen them in here every time we pass through helping people with their jewelry, necklaces, watches, rings, bracelets, all the typical stuff. And the jewelry continues into this store as well. This one having more of a feature on watches. Directly across from that is one of the exits or entrances to the casino. So this is one of those little wings that I was talking about. And then that flows right out into the Grand Plaza. So that gives you an idea of how big the casino is from the Grand Plaza all the way back to the restaurants. All right, back in the Grand Plaza area, this time on deck four. 
So we're going to have things to see on either side. Just want to point out as you come in on the starboard side, it's just a general seating area over there, chairs, tables, lounge areas, things like that. And then that continues forward. We'll get to that stuff in just a minute. We're actually going to turn here, come over to the port side where we'll find the craft social bar. So this bar is going to feature craft beers, as the name would suggest, wines, cocktails, all those different things. And they also have some snacks in here as well. I believe you can buy some food items. It's not the biggest venue in the world, but it is a nice little quaint one. And they do have several large televisions there for live sports. And just past the craft social bar, we will find Le Grand Bistro. This is a specialty restaurant serving up French cuisine. See, they got the, the baguettes and the breads over there. And they've also got some holiday decorations up throughout the ship. I'll go ahead and point that out right now. Of course, this wouldn't always be there. But this is a nice venue. It's got some window seating. And the cool thing is that this is where they also do the Le Petit Chef experience, where they will actually project images onto your dining table, onto your plate. It looks like things moving around, things changing. A really fun interactive experience. Again, both just this general restaurant and the Le Petit Chef experience are an additional cost. So it is a specialty dining experience. Now past that here at the forward part, we'll find Le Voyage by Chef Daniel Balloud. Just get a quick look in the door there. It's opening up a little bit. Anyway, it's just a small restaurant. You can see what it looks like here from the picture. But of course, Danielle Balloud is the global culinary ambassador for Celebrity Cruise Lines. And this menu is going to have a, like a global cuisine. It's going to feature flavors and spices and different things like that from around the world. And this is specialty dining, but I didn't mention that. It's an additional cost. All right, over on the starboard side, there's that big seating area I mentioned with the windows all the way down. And then we find Cafe Albacio, which does actually have some pastries here you can get. And of course, with it being a cafe, they are going to have drinks as well. Coffee, specialty coffees, different things like that being served up here in the cafe. So this is a very popular spot, especially like it is right now, early in the morning when everyone's trying to get their coffee. So looking back at the Grand Plaza, we had the craft social bar over there, the, uh, the bistro there, and Le Voyage here. So because it curves around there, you can't actually go forward on that side. So you do have to be on the starboard side to progress forward here. The next thing we'll find is the eye lounge photo gallery. This is where you can come and view the photos you've had professionally taken throughout the cruise. You can purchase cameras, speakers, memory cards, different things like that. Looks like they even have some iPads in here. It's kind of crazy. HDMI cords, charging cords, all those different things. So you can tap your card here on the tablets. It'll pull up the photos attached to your room account. You can view and purchase those right there at the iLounge photo gallery. And just past that, we will find the shore excursions area. So very similar setup with the tablets, tap your card, and you can come and purchase shore excursions for your cruise vacation. Now, it is typically recommended that you purchase shore excursions in advance of your cruise, but in case you haven't or if something has changed, you need to talk to someone, this is where you wanna come. And directly past that, we'll find the entrance to the studio, which is a fine art photography. So if you're wanting to have professional images done, they can do that inside there. Now across from that, we will find a Celebrity Future Cruise Vacations. This is where you can come and book your next cruise. You can put a placeholder deposit down to use towards your next cruise and they will give you some onboard credit or some other kind of benefit for doing so. And you can send it right to us, your travel agents, right here from the desk. It's super easy to get that taken care of. So we highly recommend doing this. People always ask us, and this goes regardless of cruise line, is it a better deal on board? Yes, because it's the same deal you would get on land, but they're gonna give you an extra benefit to it. Reduced deposit, onboard credit, things like that. So I don't recommend waiting a long time. Like if your cruise is in six months or more, like maybe don't wait because prices tend to rise over time. You might just mitigate your benefit. But if your cruise is only in like a month or something like that, maybe wait and just book on board because you're gonna get those extra offers. All right, proceeding forward here on the starboard side, we will find some more shopping. Now we're going to find our fragrance store, perfumes, colognes, lotions, things like that. And then that just continues on forward here into an area that's got some more kind of shopping options with jewelry, clothing, hats, necklaces, things like that. And this shop is called Resort Wear, appropriately. It's going to have all of those different things inside of it. Oh, cool. Check out this little projection thing. That's fun. And now we find the shop called The Collection, and much like on Celebrity's sister cruise line, Royal Caribbean, this is where you're going to find all of your cruise line specific merchandise. So things that say celebrity on it for this ship, Celebrity is sent, all your t-shirts, your mugs, your tumblers, different things like that. And that flows right into a shop called Local Edition, which looks like it has some higher end clothing options, maybe even some suit jackets, dress up shirts, polos, Hawaiian style, 
And then our stretch of shops ends here with spirited, which you guessed it, <laughs> spirits, alcohol. And past that, we see the entrance to the theater. But I do want to turn around just a little bit here across from the collection shop, and you'll see the entrance to the club. That's literally what it's called. <laughs> so if people say meet at the club and you're not sure where, which club? No, that's the name of it, the club. And here's a look inside the club. And this is a multi-level area. So you see you have the bottom seating area here, and there's an upstairs as well. The main stage or play area here is in the middle. And you have the bar over on this side with more seating. And this area is also used for a brand new interactive game, augmented reality game here on the Celebrity Ascent. You actually use the floor to play. It's really cool. And I just wanted to come upstairs and give you a quick look at this because they do have some cool things. In addition to additional seating, they have a tabletop Miss Pac-Man game. They have a foosball table and a Golden Tee PGA Tour golf simulator. And then all that additional seating I was talking about with views down to the main area. And just right inside the entrance to the club, you'll see this sign here it says the meeting place, which is just basically this area that goes into kind of like a conference multi-use space you can use for special events, private events, things like that. Since we're at the forward elevators here, might as well stop in at our map again and just kind of get reoriented. So we saw the restaurants in the back, saw the couple of shops on that side, the casino stretching that full length, and then we were back in the Grand Plaza where we had the cafe and the whole seating area, those restaurants and the bar on the side, and we saw the photo gallery, shore excursions, those different shops, came back around, saw the club, the meeting place, entrance. So now the only thing here forward, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, is the entrance to the theater. And this can be accessed from either side, port or starboard. And like the club, it's called the theater. That's the name of it. So this is the main theater space onboard Celebrity Ascent where they will do all of their production shows and it's really cool because it's that circular stage that protrudes in and around the audience that's around it. You have the big screens on the back instead of a curtain so they can do all kinds of really cool visual effects in here. And there is an upstairs as well. And the upstairs features this bar rail style seating which is really nice and then additional standard theater chairs surrounding the theater. Great views from any spot. And with the theater covered we have finished deck four. We're going to five. All right, beginning deck number five here in the forward area. And the thing that's most forward is the upper deck of the theater, which we already saw. We are going to turn as if we're going in there, though, and head port side. So directly across from the port side entrance to the theater, we'll turn around and we'll find the annex. This is a very small venue, but you can use it for different things. You see, you see this here, reserved for your private personal karaoke party, or they have like golf simulators in there. Different things can be done inside the annex. Again, not a very big area, and it doesn't seem like it's open right now, but this is where you can reserve private things to get inside there and uh, have those fun events with your family, your friends, your outing, whatever you're here for. All right, flipped over to the starboard side here coming out of the theater entrance slash exit, and we will find our art gallery by who else? Park West, because isn't it always? So they're gonna have some really nice figures, statues, things like that. And then of course they'll have paintings as well that you can purchase. One last thing to point out here in the forward part of five is that the entrance to the upper deck of the club can be found here. So you don't have to go in on four and come up. You can actually access it here on five. Now we're making our way midship or aft, but I did want to point out that this is a promenade deck as well. So you can come outside and walk down the deck by the different light boats, tender boats, things like that. Open air, get a view of the sea right here on this deck. All right, entering back into the Grand Plaza area, starting with the world-class bar. Made its Edge Series debut on the Celebrity Beyond. Now here on the Celebrity Ascent with the expert mixologist. So a nice bar area, not huge, but a nice little intimate area. And you do get some views over there, kind of tucked up into that little alcove overlooking the Grand Plaza below. Next thing we'll find here on the starboard side is Raw on Five. This is a specialty dining experience. It's going to be serving, serving up Japanese and Asian style cuisines. And in fact, if you come here later in the day, they'll usually have kind of like a raw bar thing set up where they have lobsters and oysters and things like that on display there. So you can purchase those items. Again, it has additional cost because it is a specialty restaurant, but you can get those here at Raw on Five and they have the nice floor to ceiling windows looking out as well. And the starboard side of deck five in the Grand Plaza ends with Raw on five because then we have the stairwell back down below. And then we can actually come across instead via this elevated bridge and go over here to the port side. 
And this is where we'll find the entrance to Fine Cut Steakhouse. You'll never believe what they serve here in this restaurant. Of course, this is a specialty restaurant, so it is coming at an additional cost. I do like the rounded booths. That's very nice. Floor-to-ceiling windows in here, as we've seen in most of the other restaurants as well. Now, as we make our way aft, exiting the Grand Plaza area, we'll find some additional jewelry shopping here and over on the starboard side as well. Now just off the deck five aft elevators, we will come over here on the port side and we will turn aft. And this can be quite deceiving. This is an art installation tunnel called Aurora. And because it's metallic and it's mirrored, it almost looks like there's nothing here. It looks like it's just a wall, but it's not. It is a tunnel to actually access the things that are in the aft portion of deck five. And it's a really cool experience just to walk through it. Now as we exit the Aurora Tunnel, we will see that dangling chandelier again and the stairwell, so this will take us back down to our main dining restaurants on Deck 4 and Deck 3. Next thing we'll find over to the side here is La Maison du Chocolat, and I'm sure I pronounced that incredibly wrong, but this is where it's like a little chocolate bar. You can come and purchase little special chocolates, truffles and things like that. And across from the chocolates, we will find the restaurant Blue. This is a special restaurant that is just for guests staying in an aqua classroom. So if you're staying in an aqua class, you get to dine at Blue. It is included for you there. And you can see they have the blue theming. They have the windows over on the side, like we've seen again for the other restaurants. So a real nice spot and a nice benefit of the aqua classrooms to get that special restaurant just for you. And now we find a shop called Mankind. This is serving up luggage, bags, watches, even some clothes, different items. And now this whole stretch along the windows here, you see the vines, you see the plants, the hammock style seats. That is because we are entering Eden. Now Eden is a multi-use space, three stories tall, that faces directly out the back of the ship. If you've sailed on Royal Caribbean's Quantum class, it's akin to 270 on those, but it's a little bit different and it's gonna have some different features, but same kind of general idea. And first of all, again, the plants. So that's gonna be the theme in here. It's the Garden of Eden. You see the apple there with the bite out of it in the logo, but there's gonna be different features to Eden. So first of all, you're gonna have the Eden Cafe over here where you can get juices and coffees and things like that, maybe some snacks. And then you're gonna find the bar centrally located there, the big mirrored wall going up. You're gonna to find tons of seating, loungers, chairs, couches, all those different things. And here's where it gets interesting. You see the beautiful, beautiful massive windows looking directly out the back of the ship. You're taking in that wake view. That's why it reminds me of 270 because you have that same positioning there. If you look up though, you can actually go up a deck and they have chairs all around that little ramped area, tables over there, and it continues up above us as well. Tables and chairs to be had there too. But there's more. We see these stairs here. They come down and this is actually the restaurant inside of Eden. So you can come and dine here and have those beautiful wake views as you enjoy your dinner. And here is some more information on the Eden restaurant, which is a specialty restaurant. And a better look at the cafe area. See, they got the drink machines there, coffee, things like that. Right now, they got some fruits out. And then they do have some foods over here, little pastries, breads, fruit balls, things like that. And I'll just give you a little view of the menu here for the Eaton Cafe. All right, and now that we've gone from the theater to Eaton, we have completed deck five, on to six. And we arrived to deck number six, which is just staterooms other than the upper level of Eaton. But we already saw that. So we're done with six, going to seven. Deck number seven, just staterooms. Time for eight. Crazy eight, also just staterooms. Heading to nine. Deck number nine, once again, just staterooms. Loving it, let's go to 10. Deck number 10 is also just staterooms. I'm loving it, we're going to 11. Deck number 11 and, oh wait, just staterooms and suites. But nothing to show here, on to 12. And deck 12 is where our stateroom only parade is going to come to an end. We are not on to 13. There is no 13 on the ship. We're going to 14 instead because we're not superstitious, but a little stitious. All right, deck 14, back on our action here with public areas. And this is a busy deck because there's a lot of big players in the space. We're at the aft elevators now. Let's turn and head directly aft into the Ocean View Cafe. So the Ocean View Cafe is gonna be the buffet area on board. You see the uh, hand washing stations there. 
and then you're gonna have seating throughout. It's gonna follow the traditional buffet layout where you're gonna have seating on the perimeter with the big floor to ceiling windows and then most of your food and drink stairs are gonna be centrally located and they actually just put down the blinds there so you can see they do have that option now I'm not gonna show every food area because it's gonna change but some are kind of set like right here when you come in is scoop so this is gonna be the ice cream area and then once you come in and pass scoops to go into the main area, you'll find a coffee bar here. And then that leads into your standard food area, starting with the bakery. And then you'll have all those different food sections there. Again, centrally located, everything in the middle. So you're gonna have seating on the starboard side, seating on the port side, and you can even go aft and have seating all the way in the back. So again, it just continues on throughout here, different styles, high tops, booths, different tabletops, two seats, four seats, large tables. I'm heading for the best part though. And not only is it just the pizza section back here, but there's also additional seating and even some outdoor seating. You can see you can go out on deck there, take in those wake views while you enjoy your buffet food here at the Ocean View Cafe. Even grab a slice from the pizza ovens all the way in the back. Another thing you'll find in the back here more towards the starboard side is the Ocean View Bar. So if you're looking for special drinks, alcoholic drinks, things like that, you can come to the Ocean View Bar. Otherwise, you can get your drinks from any of the included beverage stations located throughout the buffet. And again, starboard and port side, basically mirror images, seating on the outside, food on the inside. Okay, back at the elevators, and as we can see on our map here, the Ocean View Cafe Buffet takes up the entire aft section. Now we're gonna head forward outside to the pool deck. But per the usual, I find it best to tour the pool deck from above, so let's go upstairs and get the bird's eye view. All right, and they're doing a special rehearsal for an event coming up later, so you'll have to ignore that. But here is the main pool area. You see you have the deep section right there, and then the shallow shelf with some lounge chairs over on the perimeter. And of course, you're gonna have sun loungers located throughout the deck. You're even gonna have some sunken conversation pits as well. And then on the perimeter along the glass, you'll have more lounge chairs so you can look out to see. Now, a really cool feature is you see these kind of glass-shaped bowls here. Let me zoom in a bit there. See these glass-shaped bowls that are elevated? Those are actually hot tubs. So you have one there and then one here as well. Actually, I think that one's a lookout platform. When we go up deck, we'll check those out. And the last thing to point out here is that they are going to have the pool bar centrally located heading forward. And that's pretty much your pool area. You can kind of see everything from here. I did want to forget to point out, they do have some like booths and uh, areas, uh, cabanas, excuse me, cabanas that you can rent that are set up along the side there. I'll show those as we proceed forward. We're gonna head back down now and head forward. All right, so back on the pool deck here, heading forward and I will finally take time to stop and point out the magic carpet, which is actually down right now. Let's see if we can see it. They have it down right now because they're doing some of their tender boat demonstrations. But this is the main boarding area for the magic carpet. 13 stories above the ocean it can go, and you can have a bar experience that goes up and down. So kind of like the Rising Tides bar on Royal Caribbean Oasis class ships, but this one is located on the outside part of the ship. So you're looking at ocean views it goes up it goes down it goes to different decks you can see the different decks listed there and what you can do on those different decks throughout different times of day so you see right now deck two step seamlessly aboard our luxurious edge launchers for tendering that's what they're doing right now so it's down on deck two because they are demonstrating those then it'll go up to five where you can do sushi and cocktails and seafood 14 where you can have a dinner experience and then deck 16 with cocktails and incredible views a really unique experience here for the edge class ships and here's a look at one of those cabanas that you can rent. Just a nice little tucked in private space right on the pool deck. Now heading forward here on the pool deck on the starboard side, we will find the mast grill. This is an included eatery that will serve up like hot dogs, hamburgers, fries, things like that for lunch. And they even have some beverage stations here as well. And now we are entering the solarium area and just much like Royal Caribbean, the sister cruise line of Celebrity, this area is for 16 years old and older. 16 years and up to enter the solarium. It's just gonna be a nice, quiet, relaxing spot, enclosed. It does have like the glass dome up above, and then you're gonna have your pool area here in the middle. So nice swimming pool there, loungers on the like kind of shallow ledge, just like we saw in the main pool, two hot tubs on either side. There's an accessible chair as well. You have freshwater showers on either side, and then loungers all throughout the space. And then over here on the port side, we can find the spa cafe and juice bar. So they have some little pastries and grab and go food items there. And then they're also making through freshly blended juice cocktail contraptions 
and they have standard beverage stations here as well. And a quick look at the menu so you can get an idea of what's included and what comes at an additional cost. And now we've arrived at the forward elevators on deck 14. I want to point out, I've been saying pool deck, that's just, you know, general vernacular. They do a call it resort deck here on the ship, so just keep that in mind. But taking a look back at our map, of course we had the Oshuku Cafe Buffet, then the whole pool area, we saw the solarium with the spa cafe and juice bar. And why would it be the spa cafe if it's not located near the spa? So all the way forward here on deck 14, we will find the entrance to the spa. So you can come down here, do all your different spa treatments, get all those rejuvenating experiences, massages, all those different things can be done inside the spa here. And with that, we have completed deck 14. Let's go up to 15. All right, deck 15 beginning at the forward elevators and stairs. We have a public area to see here. And then we have a not so public area that I don't know if we're gonna be able to see, which is the retreat. So the retreat is the suite level experience on board celebrity ships. So here is the retreat lounge. Now, I'm not staying in retreat. Oh, what did he open? Good. So here's a look at that lounge space. Both sides and then they have the pastries and fruits bar over here. And they also have beverages that you can get inside here as well. Okay, great. So we were able to see that. Now we're going to turn forward, head all the way forward here and find the fitness center. And as the sign tells us, the entrance to the fitness center is going to be on the port side. Now you can also access this via the spa entrance because that is right down there. That's where we just were. And there's the staircase that comes up to show the fitness center here. We do have some fruit water, clean towels, and chilled towels as you come in. Scale, kettlebells. I'm not going to show too much because people are working out. I don't want to disturb them. But they do have some free weights here. They have resistance machines, ellipticals, treadmills, cycles, different things like that. Floor to ceiling windows looking out the front of the ship. And they do have different studios where they will offer different classes. Oh, and I forgot to mention, right at the entrance to the fitness center, there are some private consultation rooms as well if you need to meet with an expert. Now checking back in at our map here, we can see we saw the retreat lounge and the fitness center and we're broken off here. So to see the rest of 15, we're gonna have to go back down and outside back up where we got that bird's eye view of the pool area. Before I go though, they do have this sign up here about the retreat and the experience and what that all includes. So if you wanna pause and take a look at that, feel free. Okay, I have transversed on 14 and come back up on deck 15. I'm at the aft elevators and stairs now. A few things to see here more so on the back end I'm gonna go out this door here on the port side because I did want to point out that they have a couple of ping pong tables set up out here. Now this flows right into the upper level of the pool deck area where I was kind of showing everything earlier. Just calm down now. But I did want to point out this is the jogging track actually. And you can see they have it segmented there. First side you're supposed to walk, first side you're supposed to run on. So that actually goes up the ramp here. Kind of goes up that ramp and then around comes back you can see the top of the magic carpet there but now as we come over to the starboard side we'll see we have towels here sun loungers and those are going to be located throughout now there is a stairwell here to get to deck 16 but we'll get to that in just a little bit instead we're going to turn and head out and we'll see what that jogging track or walking track actually comes back down over here and then comes back through this area and speaking of that if you need to know the distances of the jogging track there you go you can see there where the jogging track is coming back down. But as we turn here and head aft, we enter the rooftop garden area. We're gonna find lounge chairs throughout here, as well as some hot tubs over the side of the ship with a nice glass wall. So you can get a great view of the ocean when you're out at sea or port. If you're stopped somewhere, and even get inside, look inside the hot tub area, which is nice. And now an overview of the rooftop garden area. So it's basically what it sounds like. There's seating areas out here, couches and chairs covered under umbrellas. They got all these plants out here, open air, getting a nice fresh breeze. They do have a large uh, screen here as well where they can do live sports or special events, things like that. They'll utilize that for, and you're just under the giant X stack there, of course, celebrities logo. Now at the back of the rooftop garden area, we will find the rooftop garden grill. So you can get some food out here, a nice restaurant dining experience, open air. It is, does kind of have the glass panels, but it's still open air, so it lets the uh, sea breeze come through. And the seating for that does continue on the outside here. Here's a better look inside the dining area itself. And then this area continues here onto the very aft section of the ship. You kind of just come down, and then they have all these seating areas along the back with the different plants, and then even a bar back here as well. If you want to get your drink and enjoy the highest aft views that you can get on board the Celebrity Ascent. 
And just for reference, this bar is named the Sunset Bar, which is probably pretty appropriate. And the seating does continue around on the starboard side as well. Different little pits, different little segmented areas where you can have a conversation, enjoy a drink, whatever you would like to do. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, the Rooftop Garden Restaurant is a specialty restaurant, or Rooftop Garden Grill, excuse me, restaurant is a specialty restaurant, so that does come at an additional cost. But with that said, we have completed Deck 15, going to 16. Now, Deck 16 is interesting because most of it will not be accessed via the interior stairs or elevators like we have for the other decks. If you're in the aft portion, we need to go up this stairwell that I pointed out earlier, which does have an accessible chair to head up towards the mass bar. And as we arrive to the top of the stairs, we find the aforementioned mass bar and then you'll have uh, lounge chairs that extend throughout the back section here and once those lounge chairs in so does this part of the deck then you're just looking back down at the rooftop garden and now as we proceed forward to deck 16 we find the upper portion of the jogging and walking track you're gonna have sun loungers all throughout this deck too on either side so you can look out at the water or look in towards the pool deck and I was right it is they are hot tubs on top of these little glass things so Hot tub there with the shade cover, hot tub over on that side as well. And then as I mentioned earlier, the track continues up here on the elevated section, wraps around, and then goes down and back behind the large screen, back by the rooftop garden. So if you're already on deck 16 and you want to proceed forward, you have to go on the starboard side because the port side ends. It's just the hot tub and then the jogging track ramp comes down from four, uh, 15 up to 16, but you can't access it from here. So we need to go to the starboard side and proceed forward. All right, so as we make our way forward here, we can see where the jogging walking track comes and loops around. It's back towards the magic carpet in the area that we were. Now, if we turn here, we will see the glass dome ceiling of the solarium. And then what we'll turn here is find the entrance to the retreat, the retreat sun deck, which normally we wouldn't be able to get into. Reserved for guests of the retreat, you have to tap your card. But because we're here for a special event, it is open, so I can show it to you. Here is the lower level deck of the uh, retreat sun deck. There is some higher deck options there, as well as a hot tub. And this just continues and wraps around to the other side here. So lounge chairs throughout, day beds, couches, different things like that. Just a nice, calm, relaxing space reserved exclusively for those sweet guests staying in the retreat. All right, we're back inside on deck 16. Now there, are, you can see, elevators and interior stairs that come up here. So for the forward part, you can do that. For the aft part, again, you have to use those exterior stairs that go up by the mass bar. So we just come through the retreat sun deck. One last thing to mention here on deck 16 forward, as we turn forward, we turn to the port side, we will find the entrance to Lumine, which is a restaurant specifically for guests of the retreat. So just like we saw blue was for guests that were in aqua class, Lumine is for guests of the retreat. And you can see the restaurant space in there, floor to ceiling windows, the typical nice fancy kind of setup there. And with that, we have finished deck 16 and we are actually gonna be able to go up here in the forward part. I'm gonna show you this for the first time. This is actually a pretty handy little chart here because it shows you what's on each deck and then breaks it down into halves. Is it on the forward part or the aft part? So you can see like we showed 16 here, you can only get the forward part uh, to get to these things and then even tells you access via forward elevator only the mass bar. Otherwise you have to use those exterior stairs. Well, on deck 17, the only thing that's here is on the forward part, so we're gonna turn and head up these stairs. Almost time to turn out the lights because this party is almost over. Deck 17 forward, the only thing to show here is the retreat bar and pool. So we turn all the way forward and we can go out either side. We can go starboard here or we can go port. And this is that upper deck portion I mentioned a few minutes ago when we were down below. Upper portion of the retreat sun deck with more lounge chairs, rocking chairs, towels, the hot tub that I showed over there, all those good things. And again, as the name would suggest, this is retreat, so for only for sweet guests, only retreat guests, and it does go around the front here, where they have more lounge chairs, day beds, and even a nice little pool area with some hanging chairs suspended above the water there. Super nice. And you're gonna have those large glass panels all the way around here so you can look out directly out in front of the ship if you come around, swing around here to the port side, you will find the bar area for this section of the ship. And then on the other side of the bar, we find pretty much a mirror image that we saw on the starboard side with more additional lounge spaces and another hot tub as well. 
Well, there you have it, friends. That is our tour of the brand new Celebrity Ascent. Again, if you're interested in checking out more content from the Ascent, including tours of the different room categories and suite categories on board, be sure to check out our entire Celebrity Ascent playlist where you can find all of those different options. And if you're interested in coming on board a Celebrity Cruise, maybe the brand new Celebrity Ascent, we can help make that happen. As travel agents, it would be our pleasure. Our services are completely free to you. You never pay any charges, fees, or costs whatsoever, and your price will not be a single cent more booking through us than it would be direct on your own. So please feel free to head over to our website, hoffmanhappytravels.com, or reach out via the travel agent information you can find in the description of this video. Once again, I want to thank you for joining me for today's video, but I'm signing off. See you next time. Happy travels!